Hey guys, welcome back. It's Monday and it's 5.07. I'm driving back home from work. I was actually in um, Glens Falls today, um, meeting with one of our key team members. And right now it's 5.07 and I have 28% battery at the house right now. I've been checking the app and it really looks like today might be the last day. I'm really hoping not, but we had two days of bad weather back to back and just like in football, you can't have two two bad games in a row. We've had two bad days in a row and our chances of getting through the night are looking real slim unless we could cut our usage back to 12, uh, 12, kilowatt, 12 kilowatt hours tonight. That's all I have left on the batteries to get us through the night. So I don't know, I'd love to, I'd love to get through and we'll keep you guys updated as it goes on. But today it's uh, 5.06 right now and we're at 28%. So um, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, welcome back. You saw my update a little earlier when I was in the car. And right now it's 8.30 at night and our battery is at 23%. Not gonna make a video tonight because I have a feeling I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and I might be having to flip back to the grid so I'm really hoping that's not the case but right now 23% this house is a living organism so even when we're sleeping it's gonna be pulling electric I'm gonna shut the lights down here and everything else obviously when I go up but I'll update you in the morning um, at 23% um, with 40 kilowatt hours of storage uh, times three percent so we got 9.2 kilowatts to get us through the night and hopefully tomorrow's a sunny day so we could get these batteries recharged and make it to the one one, one month mark because that's my goal at this point but tomorrow is looking like right now what's tomorrow's weather looking like Tomorrow's looking cloudy. So you can see right there, Tuesday, cloudy, 66, and that's what it's been doing all day today is raining. So we'll give you an update tomorrow morning. Let's get it. One month mark, we're coming for you. We're not gonna let these two rain days in a row affect us. See you in the AM. Wow. We made it through the night, 8% on the batteries, and it looks like a clear day today. I, uh, I knew it was gonna be close. I thought we were gonna be in the five to 4% range, but we're at 8% this morning. Don't worry, I'm focusing on the road right now. Uh, we're at 8% this morning, and uh, I hope for a clear day so we can make our 30 day challenge mark in of- In uh, miles, oh, there's turn a, right onto US 44. It's my navigation getting me to my next appointment, I'm actually headed to a technical home analysis right now for one of our customers that wants to go solar. So I'm going to do a site evaluation and uh, help him go solar and maybe he wants power walls also. But we made it through. Looks like we're gonna have a clear day. It looks like we're on track to get to our 30 day challenge as long as we don't have a back to back bad weather days of just no sunshine. We had two days of really just no sunshine. I think one day was a couple kilowatt hours. And um, today looks like no sunshine, overcast, but hopefully we get to over 30% charge on the batteries. We'll update you later, bye. Hey guys, welcome back. You saw my updates a little earlier and yep, we made it through last night. That was awesome. 8%, we're cutting it close. I mean, it's getting closer and closer every night. And right now we're at 39% on the battery. So throughout the day, um, with the limited sun we got, we only got to 50% today of charge on the batteries. So um, that's like roughly 20 kW we, we put into the batteries today. And let's jump right into it. So you can see on our home screen here, we're at 39% and the home right now is using 
0.7 kW. And let's go into our energy usage. Yesterday, um, this is, you know, th this is it. We produced very little yesterday. Um, from the solar, we produced 4.9 kilowatt hours, and we pulled from the power wall 8.4 kilowatt hours, and we only sent 2.3 kilowatt hours back to the power wall from the solar system. So not a lot of power um, that was produced yesterday. Uh, whatever was produced was, was used and only 2.3 kilowatt hours got sent to, back to charge the power walls, which, which is not a lot at all. So there's a lot of green on that upper line, which, you know, you want that green on the upper line, but not, uh, not unless you're charging it, you know, throughout the day and we're really, we, ha we didn't charge it at all yesterday. So we go to today. So that's one full day. I'm counting that as one full day, just off all batteries because we really didn't produce any solar. Then we go to today. Um, and keep in mind, we didn't produce any power on Sunday either. So look at Sundays. Sunday, we were using the battery all day long. We produced solar, but four kilowatt hours we produced from the solar, but we pulled 16.8 kilowatt hours from the power wall. We only sent 0.3 kilowatt hours um, to the power wall from the solar system. So that's Sunday and Monday, straight power walls, really no solar production at all that was used. Yes, very little on Sunday, four kilowatts of solar production. And on uh, yesterday, 4.9 kilowatts hours of solar production. So roughly 10 kilowatt hours of solar production over the last two days, which means we were pulling a lot off those power walls. But listen, any little production is so significant. If we didn't get that 10 kilowatt hours of production off of our solar system, we wouldn't have made it through the night because we woke up with 9% left on the power wall this morning, 8% left on the power wall. So listen, I say it's minimal, but it's, it's big, it's big time. And that's why we use those sun power panels to get as much production as possible off the roof. So let's go to today. Uh, today was another, another overcast day, um, but thank goodness we, we sent some power back to the power walls. Uh, we produced 24.1 kilowatt hours off the solar system. We pulled 9.4 kilowatt hours from the battery and we used uh, and we sent 20.4 kilowatt hours to the power wall. So let's look here. We'll just check out our graph. Solar woke up 750, 745. Our peak production was at 1240, 5.3 kilowatt, kilowatts. And our system shut down at 555, six o'clock. And here's our power walls. I mean. This was good that we got that production, charged the power walls throughout throughout the day, but right now we're only filling it to half capacity today. So we only have right now 39%, which I'm comfortable we'll get through the night tonight. But tomorrow, rain in the forecast, which is Wednesday. Thursday, rain in the forecast. Friday, rain in the forecast. So we're always saying you can't have two bad days in a row. We're about to go into a buzzsaw of three. We will keep you updated. The 30 day challenge continues. We're going through the gauntlet right now and we're gonna play this thing out. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for staying on this journey with me. It's uh, really cool to see it and just to see what's possible even in this crummy time of the year. All right, signing out, we'll talk to you later.